Hey guys, what's up? It's been a while since I've been able to skate because it's been raining for a long time and I've been at work. Um, it's pretty windy, so I've got my phone in my hand so I can record for two different ways just in case the wind ruins it up. And uh, today is my first ever trick tip that has been requested. It is the backside disaster. Now, that is one very important secret to backside disasters. And you don't even have to be on the ramp. <laughs> I'm gonna to have to turn the camera a little bit. Apologize for the sunlight. It looks super cool, but it's also ruining the image. Um, here is the big secret to backside disasters. That is the big secret to backside disasters. Now, why are you doing a backside revert on flat ground? Because if you can backside revert on flat ground, that's exactly the same as a backside disaster. I'm not even joking. So, first trick you might want to learn is the backside slash grind but the pivot stall so you don't grind you just kind of stall and then you get the feeling for that turn but what you want to do is instead of turning you want to do the backside revert so instead of just turning slowly do the backside revert and you will end up in backside disaster it will scare you you'll fall off you'll jump off you'll be like what the fuck but that is how it works honestly that's how it feels it feels just like a backside revert so um i actually haven't warmed up yet so i'm gonna just go for it see if i can get it first try I'm going to leave my microphone here, so bad audio, I apologise. Right, that took me a little while, but I ain't skated for like a week and a half. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, uh, I also haven't warmed up. So another thing you might want to learn is fakey rocks. Yeah, I know, I'm looking at my cam I'm looking at my phone. You should learn fakey rocks because you have to know how to fake your rock to come out of a back disaster. Because when you're in a back disaster... It's all well and good if you can get to this point, right? But you just stand there and you don't know how to come back in, you do this. And you hang up, right? And you fall forward. Worst thing that'll happen is you just run down the ramp. It, it doesn't matter, but like, it's a scary thing to look at, so you'd need to know how to fakey or switch rock or whatever. So... Yeah, I could do a trick tip on that, but it's exactly the same as a rock to fakie. Just do it switch. Uh, I'll see if I can do one, but this, getting the speed is quite difficult in this skate park, so. If you want to do it nice and slow, then you can. But you cannot. I repeat, you cannot turn into this one. You need to whip your body around, which is why it's important that you learn the backside revert, because the backside revert is exactly the same way as you do it. The second most important thing is learning to backside revert, but keeping your weight on your front foot instead of your back foot. This is the only way where it's really different. So you keep your weight on your front foot and it keeps you going forward. If I show you some of these failed attempts, what I was doing was keeping my weight on my back foot and that was making me go backwards, which is making the board do this. You don't want that, because that's not how you do the trick. So you need to revert and keep your weight on your front foot so you can land like this. And uh, some people who are like pros or whatever, they just do it and they immediately come back in. They sort of land like this. I don't get how they do that. <laughs> don't ask me how to do that, because I have no idea. I would love to be able to do that, but I, I just can't figure that out. So yeah, that is the backside disaster. It's not as hard as it looks. Uh, it's definitely as scary as it looks, but once you get into it a few times, that's probably the hardest part is getting into it. You can just get into it and you can stand there for a little while, like this. If I can get the board to stay there, Jesus Christ. In fact, a good way to learn how to do this is to hang your board over like this. This is scary as well, so but like what, you hang your board over like this, and then you put your foot on the nose, and then you do a little nose manual in like you're doing a switch rock. Because when you land in the disaster, you are going to be facing that way. So get yourself as comfortable dropping in like that as possible. And then when it comes to disaster, you get this. You get on the hard part, you know how to do the drop in, which is just like that. So it's scary, but once you get it, it's really easy. So yeah, go out and get it. And uh, I say it's really easy and I struggle with it, but like it is a bit of a blind trick. You can't really see what you're doing. You're just hoping the skateboard's there. So it's easy, but you can't really control it that well. Um, so yeah, I would say this is probably a good one to learn after uh, backside slash grinds because it's a similar kind of motion, except you pivot like this, 
right? Nice and slow. You do it as fast as you can. What ha happens is it forces your wheels over. If you're going fast enough, it takes you up this way. And you back disaster, and then you're just here. And then what you want is to get to the point where you're just standing there, right? And then you step off, and you're like, oh, that's scary. But once you get to this point, all you have to do is that drop in, and that's it. You can back disaster. Go out and learn it. I'm sorry this trick is a bit of a mess. I don't have long to skate, and uh, I don't have long to talk. So, yeah, go out and get it. Thanks, I can't read for the suggestion.